Low Model Railroaders. My name's Dave. Welcome to the layout. It's a lifeguard. Busy. And I haven't been able to really get down to the layout lately over the last week. But uh, tonight I was able to manage to get down. But during the week, even though I wasn't able to get and actually do anything on the layout, I've been on the computer instead. One of the things that got me thinking after I posted the last video is I want to run four mainline trains primarily on the layout. And I've only got a DB150 as my command station and that's a 5 amp system. Now looking on the Digitrack website and pulling up the electronic version of the manual, I was able to find that it's saying that it can handle 10 to 15 locos at 5 amps and then it gives on a whole bunch of other stuff in regards to you need to be careful of overheating your base station, you may need to put fans on, the, the cooling fins at the back to help cool it down, and all kinds of other disclaimers that Digitrax has. And of course with the sound locomotives they're going to be drawing a little more amps than the non-sound locomotives so Digitrax doesn't really give much in the way of recommendations so I thought well let's make sure my locos are all speed matched roughly and do a soft consist using the MU button on the throttle and let's run just a group of locomotives on the layout and see how the DB150 actually handles approaching 15 locomotives. So, as you can see, we've got our locos that were previously attached to our tanker train, the six UP heritage locomotives. Or, I should say, four plus the two regular UPs. I've got uh, the other two, or the one UP that I usually use as my clean car train locomotive, and another one that I have uh, speed matched that is uh, soft consistent to it. They do a good job. I think I'm going to leave them together. And I've got a group of Atlas locomotives coming down the line here. Some SD... A couple of SD... Yeah, SD40s. Uh, and uh, C630s and a Train Master. And uh, they're soft consistent as well. Now... I've been running them about five minutes before I initiated the video and they, they're not doing too bad for 14 locomotives running simultaneously. Uh, I did max out the slots on my throttle so I've got to sort that out. I, I did want to push uh, a couple more on and bring it up to 16 and really challenge the base station. However, I don't really want to get into uh, removing some from uh, the, the throttle max. Now, I do have the uh, DS100 that I uh, acquired when I bought a, a gentleman out who's getting out of the hobby and I primar primarily get the words out correctly primarily been using that as my programming 
unit. And just trying to make sure I know where all of them are. I seem to be, there it is, coming, coming down the line now. Uh, I want to make sure I don't run into anything since I'm wandering around talking. So I got looking at it and I'm probably going to, and having met the, uh, loaded up the slots on the DB150, I do believe that there are more slots in the DS100 available. So moving forward, I do believe I'm going to put the DB150 in booster mode and wire the top section of the layout uh, using that in its booster capacity and use the DCS100 for the helix in the lower section of the layout and that will spread the locomotive load around because both are 5 amp units. Now I have seen as the trains have been going around a little bit of hesitation sometimes so I wouldn't doubt that I am reaching the maximum capacity of uh, the system and it looks like I need to throttle one back it's catching up to the other locomotive here sorry for the quick swing around but I needed to make sure I was still adequately spaced between those uh, those two sets so more just a, a quick video in regards to that that you do need to be conscious of what you want to run as far as the number of MU locomotives in your your trains um, to make sure that you don't exceed your your boosters capacity now they I know Digitrax because I've so heavily throttled up in Digitrax with uh, the uh, UT4s and with the stations that I've already got that I'm going to keep Digitrax as my primary uh, local net uh, digital command station So, I did briefly think of going with the 8 amp uh, booster that could run two separate zones, but at the moment, I think probably the max that I'd be running would be, say, around uh, the 16 locos as far as mainline trains go, uh, the 5 and the 6 would be 11 uh, maybe another 4 I probably wouldn't run a, a 6 and then some switchers in the yard so by splitting up into two districts two wiring districts that that would enable an adequate load on each booster because the any parked locomotives of course won't be drawing much uh, in the way of milliamps unless they're sound locomotives you know then they could be drawing uh, you know I, I'm guessing maybe a hundred milliamps to uh, to run the speaker but um, that's where I am uh, I think uh, I can successfully run 14 locomotives simultaneously on just one 5 amp booster. So switching the command station out to the uh, DCS 100 will be my 
move going forward and setting up the top level as its own uh, booster district which is easy enough to to do with the way I'm modularly wiring the system and it looks like I need to get one train from catching up to the other. So at this point I'm going to call it into the video so I can uh, manage these these trains. So if you get a chance get down to your layout and uh, enjoy yourself. That's what we're in the hobby for. Bye for now.